Hi guys, so this video is going to be about how to find the best expiring domains or expired domains and the reasons behind why we're looking for those domains, what we're doing. So there's a number of different ways. Now, you can obviously use tools and route around and check out auctions, check out domains that have expired, but it's a long, hard slog. It can take a lot of time, a lot of effort. There are alternative services where you've got guys who just have aged domains, that they, they do all that grunt work and domain acquisition themselves. People like odys.global. Now, <laughs> you can go to their marketplace, you can go and buy a domain, an aged domain. They've done all the research, checked all the spam, and acquired a whole bunch of aged domains that will allow you to either build out a new website on it, you know, do affiliate marketing, or whatever you might use an aged domain for. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple of different ways on how you can find the best domain names and the tools that are involved in doing that. So we'll just go right into it and start sharing my screen just now. So the easiest solution would be to go to someone like odys.global. Now, if you do look at the link below, you'll be able to get a hundred pound bonus. Um, that you can use against some of these domains um, that are out there. And you can see on here that if we go to categories, you know, we can filter all of this kind of stuff down. Sports, for example, you know, we can see stuff here. Um, you know, there's stuff at $920, there's stuff at $4,000. Really just depends on what's available. So basically what ODYS do is they find uh, aged domains or acquire aged domains from a number of different sources. So they're doing all the donkey work for you. And sometimes it's just easier if you're just an investor in terms of just investing money into projects. It's sometimes easier just to go down this route and get something without trying to save yourself an extra 20 bucks. Uh, because it's a long, hard slog fighting with other guys looking for expired domains. You can go to auctions and you're bidding and bidding and bidding. Um, or, you know, you could become a drop catcher yourself and try and catch domains. But again, the money involved in setting something like that up becomes quite tedious. But ODYS is a great option. Not the best option for everyone. Some people still want to check stuff out. Some people don't maybe have the budget for ODYS Global or whatever it might be. So an alternative to that would be using a tool like Spamzilla. This obviously helps you find expiring or expired domain names too. And it's spamzilla.io. You can see this is what the interface looks like. It gives you a whole bunch of stuff on the kind of topics. It gives you the majestic metrics um, there, trust flow and citation flow. It gives you the Ahrefs DR and backlinks and everything else, but it also tells you if it's an auction or whether it's available, if it's expired. Now, one metric that I personally use, and a lot of people say, oh, don't use metrics, you know, they're third party, no one cares. These metrics can still give you an indicator as to whether a uh, to be names worth it or not and for me dr is the one that most people use when they're looking at links so we can see this big dr 83 with tons of backlinks it's, it's you know it's also got a fairly high um trust flow and citation flow um and a whole bunch of other stuff on here now we can actually see the price of that one's actually a thousand bucks um so it's on a domain auction that that's expiring the 20th of november so you can go in if you want that big DR83 or whatever it is. But you've also got some other decent DRs here um, below that. And again, you can scroll along to the end and you can find, um, to see what this one is, computers. So this uh, Alex Gorbatevich, um, DR74. Um, Again, 1050. I keep looking at all the expensive ones, but you can see the kind of prices range here. Um, obviously, what you're looking for is relevance. 
Um, but you can see that some of these are also available. They've just dropped and they're .tw and stuff like that. So people have probably let them drop because they're not worth the money um, or, or they, they don't feel they're worth it. However, it's up to you to find relevant domains. You want relevance. You want that backlink profile. That backlink profile is, is the main key to the whole process. So the referring domains and everything that these domains have is what you're looking for. And you can go into Ahrefs, for example, and we'll just grab one of these domains. So I'm just going to go into the, the kind of top one there that was a thousand bucks. And why would you pay a thousand bucks for that rather than the 50 bucks for the one below? Um, Obviously, we can see it is a DR83. It's got 6,400 referring domains. And I would be hoping that a lot of these have got decent DR. So you can see that it does, has a, has a nice solid backlink profile. Now, obviously, for you to go and acquire 6,400 good solid domains is going to take you time, effort, and money. Is it worth a thousand pounds? You know, you divide. You know, that's like, you know, six pence a link or something like that. Now, we all know that links don't come for six pence. So to get those 6,000 links for a thousand bucks and utilize that power, whether you do a 301 redirect or whether you build a site on it or whatever your strategy is, it's going to be value for money. And that is where we go back to ODYS Global because people say, oh, I'm not paying, you know, 200 bucks or 500 bucks or... £2,000 or, or whatever it is for a domain name. Now, if you can find something that's totally relevant, um, you know, for example, if you were looking for kind of marketing or whatever it might be, then you can use that and you can go and say, oh, there's the Agent Black Cat and it's got this and it's got that. And uh, yeah, it's, it's an age domain that is going to allow you to just progress further um, and, you know, work from something that already is a backlink profile. So it's a shortcut and a way for you to then grow and you know make money a lot quicker rather than doing your citations and doing all this kind of link building, you're gonna to have to sink thousands of pounds into it. So sometimes you're better just sinking that money in right at the start, grabbing an age domain. So that's your kind of two choices. Other than that, you'd have to go to someone a drop catcher of some kind and, and see what inventory they have and you're still going to have to pay them similar fees depending on the power and relevance of that domain name. So that is my short tips to grabbing expired domains and some of the things that you might want to do with them. And yeah, if you enjoy this video, make sure that you do like and subscribe to the channel. Cheers.